Hey, what's up, you guys? It's MC Lego Boy here with 70107, a Chima uh, Speed Oars set. Um, it, again, if you don't know already, this was given to me just like, hey, you like Lego stuff here? Why not take it? So, you know, that, that was nice. Um, I've never gotten a Chima set before, mostly because I'm more of a Star Wars guy anyway. Um, I'm not too big into trying to get all the new pieces and everything. It's, it's just, it's not really my thing. It's not that big of a deal to me. Like, all these people are freaking out over Olive. Well, unless you had, like, a Chima Crocodile set, you're not going to get much Olive in anything else. And so, like, all these people are freaking out over, um, Olive Cheese, and it's like... Okay, look, the most stuff that I've seen people use it as is roofs. Kind of makes it look like God puked on your roof. Just saying. So. But, you know, I probably shouldn't judge too much. I mean. So, anyway. Um, it, it's like an intense, like, cannot open type stuff. And it comes with some cards and fun pieces. So, anyway, we'll build it. Hardest set to open ever. I mean, goodness gracious, that was difficult. The, the whole way that that thing is designed is ridiculous. And I've got another one that I have to open at some point. So anyway, in here we've got... Uh, what was his name? Skin it. Right. So anyway, you have to take the uh, the vehicle apart in order to get to the minifigure. So anyway, um, here is the minifigure. Um, a lot of people they think that these guys are cool, and I do agree. I mean, it is a great looking guy. Unfortunately, the tail does not really sit all too close, which is too bad, but you know. I do. I do think that this minifigure is really cool looking. Um, the only problem, though, is like, I think it's a little overkill. Um, like, what is up with this face? Um, he's also got another side where the eyebrows are just a little higher. But, I mean, like, I, I want to move his head. Well, that's no good. That can't help me much, so. Although, I do think it's really cool with, like, the leg printing and stuff. So, you know, great little minifigure. Um, you can give him a whip. By the way, I've never had one of these whips before. You can give him a, a spear. And there's six of these, like, chi crystal thingies. I... I don't know what they are. They're all part of a game. They're something that you do whenever you, like, are with your friends and stuff like that. So, anyway, um, here's this, like, crazy contraption known as the Speedor. Um, amazingly, it's all metal. Like, this wheel is metal with a little rubber band type thing that goes on it. Um, it cannot be removed. Unless, I guess, like, you really wanted to remove it and you, like, broke the plastic that goes around it. But, anyway, um, you take your cool thing, you go down in there, like that. And then, like, Beyblade, you just go crazy with it. Or, like, a Rituka spinner. You just go crazy with it. And it goes for a, a fairly long time. Uh, I haven't tried it out to see if this ramp actually works or not. But, I mean, like, this thing is all going to be just for parts anyway. I highly doubt I'll ever find any use for the skunk head. Like, what? I, I don't know. But, you know, I mean, it's a thing that, like, kids can collect and stuff like that and play with their buddies. It's kind of like the, um, the Ninjago Spinner's. Um, you got a crazy looking ramp. Um, by the way, like, I don't know how well this is going to come up on camera. But the 
loop piece, and then this piece. By the way, that's great that we get this piece. In lime green. But, like, this is a little bit of a different color. Now, I'm not saying that they've got, like, a totally new color, but it's kind of interesting that there is a bit of a difference in color. I've had that happen a few times with uh, my bluish grays. Where I end up getting a piece that's, like, a darker light blue gray or a very light dark blue gray it, it's very interesting and this one is kind of like one part olive with ten parts lime so I mean it, it's just a little bit of a difference um, a crazy thing with this wolf guy he's supposed to ride up on here hit the ramp smack that thing and then the little chima ball goes crazy this insane looking Xamar Sphere has some really cool little detailing on it. You can kind of course. Um, but you know, um, you can kind of see that there's some kind of swirly action going on with it, so kind of cool. And that's pretty much it for the Chima's thing. Um, I think this thing is way cooler than the rest of it. Um, the minifig is also, I mean, like, it, it's really cool. It's really neat that we get minifigures this detailed now. You know, I mean, with the whole thing of Chima, it, I don't know, I think it's a little overkill. Just, like, the amount of stuff. I mean, like, back in 2006 or something like that. I, I don't remember when, but I, I do know that LEGO was in debt for a while because they ended up making so many new pieces and it not being in enough sets and people not buying enough of the sets that those new pieces were in to make it worth the, um, the mold. Like, the new mold that it took to make this tail. Okay, I don't really have a problem with the tail. But whenever you've got, like, all the characters in here have, like, ten different heads... And you keep making new ones all over the place. And then there's like all these crazy new weapons and things like that. I, it's a little crazy Consider, I mean like this is metal. That, that's expensive. So. I mean like I'm, I'm not trying to sound like a downer about. Um, about Chima. But I mean it's just. It's one of those scenes that I've never really thought was all that great. Same thing with uh, Ninjago. I mean. A lot of people have uh, loved it, but I mean, I, I really have no interest in it. But, um, you also get, um, a few cards. How many cards is that? Like, five? I don't know. I, I don't really want to open it, because, you know, this would be something that could be sold if I ever wish to, so. So, yeah. Um, so, pretty much, like, the main thing for this, though, is, like, you get a buddy that has another speed orders. And you shoot them off at the same time, you see who can hit the ramp, and then uh, go over the chasm of extra pieces, and then smack that thing hard enough to where the little Chima ball goes out into the open and can be collected. And then you, like, use these guys as uh, point counter type things. I, there's a whole bunch of stuff in the instructions, so. Um, really, this is a really good parts pack. I'm not sure how much it's worth whenever it comes to like 101 pieces I don't know what that means to some people I don't know what the price is again this was given to me so anyway uh, this has been MC Lego Boy with 70107 uh, Skinnet yeah Skinnet's Speed Ore see you guys <laughs>
but I've just reviewed a few uh, things on it, and it, it worked for me. So, tell me in the comments what you think should the black background be used pretty much from now on for most of my uh, reviews, or not. See you guys.